Okay guys, I'm holding the camera for like two seconds just to show you how I'll be filming the uh, the coloring books and where my coloring books are. This is my coloring book shelf and I'm going to be filming by the shelves so that, you know, uh, that way it's easier on me. There will be, you know, breaks and everything. And I'm sorry, this is shaky. I, I, <laughs> I take a lot of medicine and it all makes me shake. So yeah, that's that's my entire coloring book collection. That's 168 coloring books, and I will now show them all to you. So, yeah, that's my cool shelf. And uh, here we go. All right, everybody. So we've seen what my coloring books look like when they're on the shelf. Let's see what, you know, the actual books look like, at least the covers. Uh, so this is the very top shelf, and I figured we'd just go that way because it's a lot easier for me to know exactly when we're going to cut. And, um, uh, I, you know, it's as quiet as it can get in here, so... And this is the best I can breathe, so we're going to do what we can do. And I'm sorry for the rest of it, because, yeah, cystic fibrosis doesn't stop, so... Um, this is the first book. It's one of the ones I bought recently in, uh, in November by, uh, by the artist himself, Tra Travis Hansen. And um, it's one of those pen and ink ones, which I really like. And then we've got the, um, I forget what this one is called. It's something like The Girl in the Forest or something. But yeah, it's a postcard book, so you get two of each one. And I've colored one out of there, so. These are all going to be out of order. I forget that. Uh, this one is Sweets and Dishes. So you see it's a, it's an Asian one. And it's just basically all different kinds of sweets and fruits and foods and stuff. I love those kind of things. And you get nice light uh, line art, too. It's another postcard book by Kanoko Igusa. This is Waltzes for the Seasons. And um, this one you don't get two of. You get just different images. So that's fun, too. This one is Winter Dreams by Hannah Carlson. I don't know why that won't focus. There. Uh... This one also you don't get two of, it just... Yeah. This one is not actually a coloring book, but it's an illustration book and it's all in black and white, so I was just going to scan it and then lighten the, uh, lighten the darkness so that I could color it because I really like uh, Chucky Ida's work, Ida. It might be Ida. See, Chucky, Ida. I don't know. <laughs> I've never heard it said out loud, so... Uh, this is Beauty of Horror Christmas, so this one is nice and small, so it's up in the small section. And they're all one-sided, so I basically started using my Copics in it. Um, this one is by Selena Fennec, and it's got uh, combinations of her other books, of like a couple other books, but they're just in pocket size. It's another one I'm just going to scan, I think, because I hate the Create Space paper, how it how my Copics deal with it, and since it is one-sided, I might as well just use Copics. This one is the same kind of idea, but with Mermaid. She has a couple Mermaid books. So, um, This one is called Once Upon a Time, and uh, it's a bunch of fairy tale images. Oop. Like, I broke the spine already, so it's kind of... So I'm not doing full flip-throughs because I don't do those on my channel. Uh, there's tons of other people and people that actually make money from their channels that do that, so there's no point in me taking views from them. But, you know, obviously I'll give you a quick look as to what's in the book. And, um, and then I will do a finished pages video later at another time because that will also be long and it will also be hard for me to breathe. Sorry, I hope that was far enough away. Um, these are Rita Berman's books, so I have all of her Seasons books, and then these two, um, World Under the Land and World Under the Water. Uh, that is what it means, by the way. So that's what these look like. And you can see the, the washi tape and the, uh, the, you know, little flags that I have for what I've colored. It's just an easy way for me to see at a glance, and then you'll see my spreadsheet later of everything I have on my computer. I, I like being organized. It's not something that anybody has to do, of course. It's just something that I enjoy doing. So this is the uh, this is the winter book. 
This one is the um, Autumn Book. I'm not as big a fan of the Autumn Book. I did finish one in here because, you know, I wanted to get something finished in here. But there's a lot of images that I just won't color. So, I think the Autumn Book was more of a miss for me. But, like, I like this one, so I figured... And, you know, it's one of those ones where it's four seasons. You want to have the whole set, so... This one is uh, Summer. Summer is easy to see because summer in German looks like summer in English almost. And uh, I like the, the water features of this one. It, it, um, she hadn't put out the water book yet. So this one actually ended up having a lot of um, a lot of water images too. And then this one is spring. Ooh, there we are. Sorry. I have autofocus on because if I don't... Well, I mean, it's, it's a camcorder. It's not a webcam, so it does what it wants. But... Um, because if I don't, it'll just, uh, it'll go crazy. But yeah, I have an actual camcorder. I don't have a webcam because I can't stream anyway. I can't really breathe enough for that. I mean, I've thought about it, but it's just, uh, it's a lot easier for me to do, like, when I'm playing video games versus doing art because I have to cut so much. Uh, and this one is one of the Hatchet Heroes. It's called Girl Power for the Disney characters. And... I'm not going to keep flipping the book different ways. Like I said, there's flip-throughs of every book that I own on the on the internet, on YouTube somewhere. So, you know, Google. <laughs> or use the search bar, because you, you really don't need me. Uh, there's enough there's enough color tubists that, that do these things. This one is Boy Power. So this one is all the, all the guys. Not all of the guys in Disney, but a, a vast selection of guys in Disney. And... That was the one I wanted more. I like more of the uh, male images anyway in books. So, um, And then this one is portraits. So this one is focusing on both men and women. But, um, but you get more of a large facial issue um, image, rather. I can talk. I can, I, I swear. <laughs> uh, this is the bicycle coloring book. And this is... Uh, the artist's actual work made into line art, so I guess I can bring it a little closer. And I'm pretty sure that he works digitally, so you get the line art before it's processed and colored. So yeah, every every image features a bicycle and a cat, so that's fun. <coughs> See, I told you, it's, it's not going to be great. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry. And this one is coloring with your octopus. This is by a uh, this is Brian Kessinger, Kessinger. I I don't know how he wants to wants it to be said. He's a Disney artist and he does a lot of pen and ink. He does really cool um, Inktober things too. But these are his uh, his characters in various situations. So I like those. And that's it for the first shelf. So I'm going to break and have a drink. And <laughs> I'll still be coughing, but I'll get more books. Okay, a ton of coughing later. I have another shelf for us to look at, so here we go. <laughs> this one is Darth Vader and Family, and not only did I get this because it's cute, but it only cost me a dollar. And um, I'm pretty sure he's also a Disney artist, Jeffrey Brown. But uh, yeah, you get a lot of cute. I, like I said, I didn't color everything yet, but... Uh, so yeah, it's kind of the idea of what if they actually were a family instead of you know the way it was in the movies. Go away, dog. <laughs> um, this one is The Secret Village by Sarah Janice Brown. And there's a lot of cute images in here, but um, it still creates space paper, so I don't know why it was so expensive. And it does get a little bit repetitive with the, uh, the things that are in here, just because there's only so many ways to draw tiny rooms. But I do like the, uh, I do like the images, and I have completed one in here, so that's good. And uh, this one is Color Me Mindful Underwater. And I did have the other ones in the series, but I let them go just because um, I have other I have other books that I liked better now. And so, but I kept this one because I, I like fish and I like underwater things. So this one is a million owls. And as it says on the tin, just lots and lots of owls, and occasionally other animals, but mostly owls. And 
and then you get a million Christmas cats. This is a different uh, artist. This one is John Bigwood, but it's the same theme of this one is just a lot of cats. And cats are always fun, and these ones are a holiday and winter theme, so that's what attracted me to that one. Uh, this one is a girl's coloring book. This one follows Lola and I forget her name. Lola and Mary. And they're basically two friends that grew up in the same town and then moved away from each other. And they send letters back and forth and whatnot. And the line art is different colors, which I think is cool. So, that's that book. And then this one is girl's coloring book. This one is something dreams about kimonos. Uh, I forget. Uh, and this one is all different kinds of kimonos, like just tons of different kinds of kimonos. Uh, if I could read that, this is telling about the parts of kimono. Um, and then the accessories, and I, I mostly got it for the little scenes and everything, but it's the same idea. And then my Inko Kotoriyama books. This one is True Love. This is the only one that was translated into English, so you actually get the uh, the actual story. Um, I haven't finished it yet, but it's basically the uh, the cow goes traveling across very different different worlds with her pet or her friend, and um, it's just various animals and everything, and she's searching for her true love, the the bull that she was dreaming about in the first page. So I thought that was super cute. I really love Asian books, so you'll see a lot of Asian books because I love the imagination and the art styles. So, you know, Japanese, Chinese, Korean, I just, you know, I end up with a lot of that. Uh, this one is called Happy Birthday, is what it, it's translated. That's the only thing that's translated into English, so I have no idea what the story is about. Um, but the two chipmunks, who I'm assuming it's their birthday, again, travel to different worlds and various different animals and there's sort of like this says goal and start so I'm assuming this is like a maze they're swimming through around these different animals and stuff like that but it basically features the the two chipmunks so I did in the beginning I sorted out the colors that I wanted for them and I wrote them down so that I can color them the same because they are the two feature animals so yeah that's the kind of thing I do <coughs> excuse me I told you lots of coughing. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm so sorry. Um, this one is Ruby's Sweet Dream. And uh, just so you know, like this this means that I've finished a page in it. And then there's ones with blue on them. The ones with blue on them, if you saw in the previous part, this means it was gifted to me. Because I used to keep them separate, but I can't because there's just so many of them now because I have very generous friends. And... Um, yeah, so I, I mix them all together and I kind of keep them together, or like I keep note of them with the washi. And uh, anyway, this one features Ruby the frog, and it shows her her family here. I did not color that; that's already colored in the book. It shows her family, and then I think she's either dreaming of running away or she actually runs away. But she makes friends with all these different animals, and the other characters from her book her book show up. See, those are the squirrels for or um, chipmunks from Happy Birthday. The other characters show up and, you know, go on her adventure too. So. And I didn't sort out her her colors, but I will because it's polychromos, so it's not it's not hard for me to remember those. I know those really well. I've used the polychromos the most, so. Aside from Copics, because obviously I've used those for a lot longer. Uh, this one is Colors Make You Happy. I don't remember the numbers because I have two of them. There's only three, and then there's a postcard book, but these are the two that I have. And this one is um, this one is the one that's more animal themed. So you get more animals and fairies and stuff like that. It's it's very girly. It's not necessarily my style, but I do like animals, so that's that's why I picked it up. And uh, yeah, this one goes with the uh, the Chinese zodiac. And then this one is more fairy tale themed, so you get a lot of uh, princesses. So like this, um, it's either Sleeping Beauty or Snow White, because same thing happens to Snow White. She ends up encased in glass. So yeah, this one is more princess fairy tale themed. So that's those two. 
This one is Gravity Falls, Don't Color This Book, It's Cursed. And it's not only a storybook, but um, it's, just, uh, it's just a collection of fun images from the TV show Gravity Falls, which I adore. And if you haven't watched it, and like anime, you should. Not anime, animation. <laughs> it's not anime. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a storybook too. So, And it fits in with the lore, so that, that's what makes it fun. Uh, this one is Portrait of a Mermaid by Sarah Burrier, and I have colored one in here, but I, I took it out, obviously. And uh, it's just close-ups of mermaids. I usually don't color this part, or I color it all the same color, because I like to focus on the portrait itself. And I'm not really a fan of, like, the mandala repetitive type things. This one is my special Phantomorphia from, uh, from the, it's the Norwegian copy. So you get the Phantomorphia images as well as the Geomorphia images, which is why I liked it. But it is slightly smaller, so it's not with the um, it's not with the nine by nine books. And like I said, this one was gifted to me. It's the Disney Dreams Thomas Kincaid book, so it's a uh, a line art representation of his of parts of his work because his his actual images are huge. So it's actually it's focusing on pieces of the same art. But, yeah. And then this one is his regular, uh, his regular scenic paintings. This is one of the first books that I got, and it really was not smart because I hadn't figured out how to color something like this yet, with the uh, the line art representation the way it is, and so it doesn't really have anything done in it yet. But I grew up looking at Thomas Kincaid's stuff because he is a Northern California artist. So This one is the first Forest Girl. The second one is in here, but it's not next to it because I've obviously sorted my mine by size. So this is the first Forest Girl, and you get a small representation of the actual artwork and then the line art. And uh, so you can see that. So it, you can either, you know, copy what she's already done, or you can um, color it a completely different way, and then you've still got her, her original representation there to, to look at. Which I like, because usually when I get an artist's work and I can't afford their prints or anything, I like to do it the way that they did, because, you know, that way I get a version of their art. <clears throat> but that way I get both. So I can color it different. Uh, this one is by Iconico, and this is Animal Parade. And the only thing I don't like about this is you see the same image, like you'll see this several times, just different sizes and different, um, different representations. So you do end up coloring the same thing over and over again, <clears throat> which I'm not really a fan of, but, uh, like you'll see the same bunny, like that, that bunny is the same bunny. So you get kind of burnt out I guess but there's enough different in here and then you know you'll see I have 168 books you'll see I have plenty to color so it's not that big of a deal uh, this one is cinnamon cinnamon bun dreams I was gonna call it cinnamon because my um my mom's cat which I call my brother is um his name is cinnamon roll because so, <laughs> he's orange and has a cinnamon roll on him but yeah this one's all about food and it has quotes on the other side, but it's not technically one-sided because there are some double page that, you know, they go into each other. So you can't, you can't like use Copics or alcohol markers on it. I don't have any other alcohol markers besides Copics, so I'm always just going to say Copic. But it's just one of those fun, you know, take it, color a couple things, and then, you know, put it, put it down kind of books. It's another one I've had for quite a while. Um, this one was gifted to me by a friend that's actually living in Korea, and it's called Colorful Jatoi, and I'm assuming that's the cat. Um, it is kind of a bummer the cat is already colored, but it's still a cute book, and like I said, it was a present, so. This one is Horrorland Men of Misery, and I really like men in coloring books, and men in general. Um, <laughs> so I had to pick this one up and I like I like Halloween so I have a really large Halloween <coughs> not necessarily horror collection but I have a large Halloween themed collection. 
And this one is uh, Entrapment, so it's the man usually being murdered by one of the females in the female book, which I don't have, but there is one. There's there's like eight of these, and then there's different series. These are the only two I have, but if you do like this style, there's tons of them. Like, tons. This one is Pixie Fairy Coloring Book, also by Sarah Burrier. And like I said, they're not together because they're different sizes. I don't really need to keep them by author because they're or artists, because they're not like that in my spreadsheet either. I just go and look by the name. So yeah, that's those. And then we've got the hardcover books. I usually keep this upside down because of the way the spine is, but this one is Magical Delights by Clara Markova. And most people have seen this book. It's been out for a very long time, and it's exceedingly popular. Uh, it's not one that I would buy again, but I'm not, like, angry that I have it the same thing with my Hannah Carlson books like due to my current style I wouldn't buy them again but I don't like dislike them enough not to you know to give them away or anything it's just not my style so I'm going to try and focus more on them this year and see if I can like get back into liking them but this one is seasons I have magical dawn I don't have them all which is you know like I stopped buying them when I stopped being into them obviously uh, that's that one. It's very, it's very, uh, not just girly, but jewel themed. And I don't really like coloring jewels. And I kind of got over coloring that many people that look so similar. So this one is Summer Nights. That was me testing a pencil, I think. So there's that one. Again, really popular, so not that hard to find, you know, people that, examples of them being colored and, and people that have, uh, people that have done flip-throughs and everything. And then this is her first one, Daydreams. Yeah. I like this one because it's got more water themes and everything in it. That one wasn't finished. I have to finish it. I'm going to try and work more on my works in progress. You'll see a lot of them. If you, you know, look close enough to the flags, you'll see a lot of them in these books. But yeah, this is one that I got near the end of October, so I didn't get to color in as many books as I bought, because that's usually what happened, or what happens. This one is one of those ones where it's double, so you get two of the same image. Which I'm not really a fan of, but I think more of using the second image to, like, do mixed media or something with. Just because I don't need that many images, and I've already taken a picture or scanned the original image before I've colored it, so I, I don't need them to print out another copy for me. Because my space is very limited, as you saw with the, uh, the actual bookshelf. But, you know, I would prefer to buy digitally, but there's not as many people that do digital. Uh, this is my only Fabiana Atanasio book, and uh, it's Peter Pan. I really like Peter Pan, the story itself. And um, if Disney had put out one, then I probably would have gotten that. But I do like this one, too. Like, I like the pirates. Those are super cool. I hope this isn't focused enough. I haven't been watching this as much as I watched the first part. I'm trying to make sure I actually get through it and can upload it. Uh, this is the World of Warcraft book. And my parents got this for me because they're World of Warcraft people. But uh, I really like the fantasy images. I don't know anything about the game itself. I've played like 20 minutes of it and I got stuck and my dad wouldn't get on Discord to help me. So <laughs> I, um, I don't know a lot about the game itself, but I do like the art. And that's why I wanted to color it. It's just I'm not going to be coloring it properly if I don't even know the names of things to look them up. <laughs> so it's one of those where it's not going to be accurate to the video game. And I do have video game ones that will be accurate to the game, so it's not like I'm a complete poser. But uh, this one is Art for Mindfulness Cats. And this one is cool because you have just a quote on the other side, so you could use your markers in this. I, I'm not a fan of needing to see the quotes or read the quotes, so I will definitely be using my Copics in this or just reprint them. But yeah, lots of cats and lots of realistic cats, which is why I liked it. This is getting to be a very big stack. I hope that doesn't fall. I had it in two stacks and I've just kind of been putting it to the side. This is Dungeons and Dragons, Monsters and Heroes of the Realms. And this is another one where I haven't ever played the tabletop game. My husband played the tabletop game, but he played the other versions, the earlier versions. But you do get art in the back, which is super cool. They're great glossy photos. Um, 
and it's just really cool fantasy art and it does cite them so it cites who did it and the title of it and the monster or the manual that it was featured in so you could look it up if you needed to so that's this book I love this book so much and uh, I love the fantasy art of it because you know I am a, a role-playing game type person <laughs> so there you go this one is Mythic Beings, and this one has great paper, and I swear it feels like it was stealing because it was so cheap. I got it on a, I got it on Black Friday deal. It was four dollars shipped, and there's I've never gotten a book of this quality for that cheap. Honestly, normally it would be like twenty at least, but I think the art is great, and uh, definitely very fun to color. I really hope this stack doesn't fall down. <laughs> I'm almost done with this part. Uh, this one is Peter Rabbit, and I can't actually read the title, so I don't know what it's actually called, but it's just samples of the Peter Rabbit images in uh, in various situations. They're not necessarily from from the books, but they're uh, they're very cute, and it's another one of those ones where you can just pick it up and color a little bit and then move on not like the super detailed stuff I usually end up doing because I can't help myself. Uh, this one is Coloring for a Lazy Afternoon and this one is also by Travis Hansen and available from his actual website. And these are the line art of his prints. I did I haven't seen his prints but I did look online and he does sell prints and these are colored so you could look up you know what everything is and how he imagines it to be colored. So yeah. So here's Forest Girl 2, and this one is a hardcover book, unlike the other one, but it's still thick watercolor paper, so it's kind of the kind of the same deal where you get a smaller image and then the large line art. So you can either color the way that the artist has drawn it, or, you know, air quote, intended it, or you can color your own, and you still get a print. And then I have my Creative Haven books. Most of them are... Actually, all of them are from my friend in the UK that has sent them, either because I asked her to or because, you know, she thought of them as presents. So, this is the collection of the books that they sent out in 2018. So, this is the Dragon Special. And every special is usually highlighting one artist. So... Um, and then this is the Halloween one, which has four artists in it. So there's that one. I had these images already because I already have that book, but I didn't have these. This is the Witches Special. And most of these you can't really get once they're out of season, but sometimes if you, if you jump on them quick enough, you'll be able to get them online. And they do sell them in America, but I don't live anywhere near stores, so I can't, for me to just pop out to the store where they sell them is a two-hour drive, and it's at, and if they don't have it, then there's that whole thing. But if they actually have it, it's actually more expensive for me to drive there and even look to see if they have it than to just pay my friend to ship it from the UK. That's how bad it is. <laughs> That's how far away from civilization Big Bear is. So, yeah. This one is by Kanoko Ugusa, and this is the one I specifically asked her for. I said, you have to find this for me. And uh, the same with this one. Now, the, the artist, uh, Adele Lorraine, Lorraine, I don't know, um, she did eventually put out a coloring book, but this was before that because she put out the line art for this, uh, for this coloring heaven, and then people wanted it so much but couldn't get their hands on it, and so she decided to Kickstarter a coloring book. And since I already had this, I didn't need to do that. But yeah, if you want one, that's where you can go get one. This one is Colin Thompson's um, Fantastic something. I forget how it translates. But he's a German artist, so I'm not even going to try with the German. And the only thing I don't like about this book is it's grayscale. I really do not like grayscale. I know some people love it, and that's great for you, but I don't like it. And, But I like the intricacy and the doodles of it. I mean, it's not necessarily doodles, but it's like teeny tiny stories. But uh, I really wish that I could like scan it and desaturate the crap out of it so that it wouldn't be so grayscale. 
which I might do. I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. Two more books. Two more books. Um, not total, just of this stack. Um, I forget what this one is called in English. I know it's Moonlight Cats, but um, this is by Jen Cats. It's Moonlight something or other. It, I have it written down. But uh, this is all of Jen Katz's doodles. This is her second one or her first one. I forget. It's not her third one. She has another one. But I didn't get that one because I kind of only need one. Um, but I really liked her style and the doodliness of it. And if only I can color it more fancy or fantasy, that would be great. But I'm not great at doing colors that aren't realistic. Which is kind of hard when you have a book about dinosaurs because there's no official way to color a dinosaur because we don't always know what they would have looked like. But I love this book because you get the big image here and then you get the smaller citation. And I was thinking of coloring like a day and night version so I would color the back of it. I was going to do this all in pencil as well so it's one of those ones that you know takes forever when I want to color it, but it's a great book. And it was gifted to me, so I like it even more. So yeah, um, I will get another stack, but before that, I, I'm sorry. Before that, I will take a small break so I can breathe better. So, be right back. <laughs> 